this logo. We have to play for 40 minutes tonight to represent this. Tony with the offensive rebound and a two-hand fly. You cannot take anything for granted, guys. Trap handles it out front against no take. Jalen Williams flashes for the steal and throws it down with two hands. This game is going to take 40 minutes of as hard as you've ever played all year long. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Courtside with Eric Musselman. It's been quite a week for the Razorbacks. Hogs knocked off top-ranked Auburn on Tuesday at a one-point battle with Alabama on Saturday. Coach, I know you'd like to be talking on the heels of a 2-0 and week, but still, you're in a position to do some damage down the stretch now. Yeah, I mean, obviously the Auburn game, about as good as you can have from a home atmosphere, and then uh, the game at Alabama, about as gut-wrenching as, as you could potentially have. But both games are, are players. Uh, played with great energy and played really, really hard. You could see even in the Alabama game, the defense, the forcing of the turnovers, all the things that, that have spelled wins for you, you were able to continue to do. Yeah, there's no question our effort was there uh, against Alabama and Tuscaloosa. We just, you know, maybe the first half could have, could have played a little bit better basketball. We got in foul trouble, and I thought that really affected our offensive flow uh, with both Stanley Amude and J.D. Note. J.D., as you mentioned, got in foul trouble but played well in the second half. You had a, actually about as good a look as you could hope for in the waning moments there after the missed free throw. It looked for a moment like Devo's shot might have a chance. Yeah, we certainly, you know, again, the battle and the fight was, was there. We just, uh, you know, came up a bucket short. Well, we've obviously got a lot of highlights. When you beat the number one team in the country, there are going to be highlights. It was also a battle in Bama. We'll have tape from that. So we've got a lot more to do. Stay with us on Courtside with Eric Musselman. Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Mountain Dew. Do the Dew. By Ford and the Ford F-150, the official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Built Ford tough. Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents and adjusters, great rates, friendly service. And by Walmart, save money, live better, Walmart. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Another rock and roll weekend. Burgers. Better with Pepsi. We put faith in our vehicles to connect us. We understand how important it is to have transportation you can rely on. So no matter what the road ahead brings, will be there. Offering you and your family the support that's made Farm Bureau Insurance a trusted name for over 70 years. You deserve more. You deserve a promise. When did too big to fail replace too smart to fail? When did trend overtake truth? When did putting clients first stop being second nature? For us, never. You can't take a risk in any investment that if it goes wrong and you lose it all, that you endanger the ability of the firm to survive. And that's really what Wall Street forgot. So when do you want to learn more about Stevens, one of the country's most successful investment banking firms? for 30 days for $10 with any Taco Lovers Pass, only on the app. 
This segment of Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Dillard's, the style of your life. It is over. Down goes over. The number one team in the country is defeated, and they are rushing the court at Bud Walton Arena. You're not going to keep them off the floor tonight. Arkansas has knocked off the number one ranked team in the land. I'm kind of speechless about the crowd, to be honest with you. I mean, the student section, insane. I mean, uh, you can go to basketball games, college basketball games all over the country. You can go for the next 50 years. There's not going to be a crowd that's better than that. There might be crowds close to that, but I doubt it. The number one team in the land is in Fayetteville. The Auburn Tigers riding a 19-game winning streak, but they've got to play the Razorbacks tonight. They're going to have to be really, really, really special if they plan on walking out of Bud Walton Arena is the number one ranked team. Take a deep breath, buckle up. <laughs> Here we go. No score a minute early. Green blocked from behind by No Take. Got to take a deep breath and play. No Take drives the left side, inside on Kessler. Around the 7-1, Kessler, No Take lays it in. Johnson left side, shot blocked by Williams. Amude out of there with it, ahead to Tony for a slam. Likes out front will set the offense. 10 to shoot, got to go to work. Chris way out on the floor. Left baseline, Williams drives and throws it down. KD Johnson drives the paint. Jalen Williams draws the charge. Jalen Williams draws his 33rd charge of the season. Note top of the circle, drives the paint, beats Kamani. He passed on the shot. Kick out, Jalen hit the three and draws the foul. Hawks with the ball, up seven. 8.30 to play in the first half. Note gets a screen out high. 35 foot three is good. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the nation's number one team. They look like number 101 right now. They've not scored the last three minutes. Top of the circle, inside Jalen Williams. There Jalen Williams. Misses the jump hook. Moore's follow no good. Cardwell with a dunk on the third try. Green gets a screen out high from Kessler. He's going to try a deep three. Barely drew iron. No good. Long rebound. Chased down by Note. Stolen by Kessler. Inside. Cambridge along the baseline. Gets the feed, slams at home. Top of the circle, Green gets the screen. Drives to the foul line. Little floaters good from Wendell Green. 15 to shoot, 16 and a half to play. Wendell Green out front. Gets a screen from Kessler. Drives to the foul line on like. Steps back, two pointers, short, no good. Rebound batted out to Green. Steps inside the arc and hits a two with one second remaining in the half. Auburn's within three and we've got a ball game left side, Flanagan kicks it back out to Wendell Green. Note's on him. Kessler sets a screen. Green freed for a two-pointer left side, and it's good. Wendell Green inside the arc, ties the game at 32. Devo trying to make a move, steps back on Williams, hits a three. Devo, 10 points. Hogs by one, 47-46. Likes all the way to the rim, lays it in. Likes blew past him. Hawks are up by three with 11 minutes to play. And they are on their feet at Bud Walton Arena. Kick out, left side, Cambridge, three-pointer good. Note drives inside, caught off, beats Tony, layup good and one. Note, Drew Kessler, fed underneath. Tony goes up strong, ties the game at 55. Note, left side, drive cut off with 10 to shoot. Steps back, three over, Kessler's good! Green gets a screen, deep rainbow three, and he got it from the left side. Razorbacks need a stop. Green dribbles out near the midcourt strike. Tony's all over him, and there's a minute to play. Kessler sets a screen, Note picked his pocket from behind. J.D. to the other end, Kessler blocked his shot, but fouled him. Game tied at 64, less than a minute to go. Here wow. we go. Wendell Green across the timeline. It's his screen, splits the double team to the basket off the glass and in. 30 seconds to play. Note crosses Kessler over, tries to feed Williams underneath, reverse layup, good. Williams ties it at 66, 20 seconds to go. Shot clock's off, Auburn will have a chance at the last shot. 
Six seconds, five seconds, NBA three, no good. Two seconds, Debo with a rebound. We're going to overtime. We're going to overtime. No take. Gets a screen, drives right side, step back, deep three, on the way, and it's good. It is over. Down goes Auburn. The number one team in the country is defeated, and they are rushing the court at Bud Walton Arena. 80 to 76, the final score, and they have streamed onto the floor <laughs> at Bud Walton Arena. What a night. I know every, anybody that came in here, there's not anybody that walked out of here that, did, that didn't have fun at this game. That's, that's a guarantee, unless it was an Auburn fan. Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Taco Bell. All your favorites from breakfast to late night. Taco Bell, proud sponsor of the Arkansas Razorbacks. By Dillard's, the style of your life. Harvest Bank, member FDIC. By Full Vision, the official eye care provider of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Some traditions just keep getting better and better. Ford F-Series, the official truck of the NFL, and America's best-selling trucks now for the 45th year in a row. Now, get 0.9% APR financing, plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150. See your local Ford dealer today. Can a company help you live a better life? We're talking about the one in your neighborhood with almost two million people helping you live a little better every day. We see your hopes and dreams. It's why we show up day after day to keep you healthy, to help you put a better meal on the table. So can a company help you live a better life? We're working on it every day. for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Another rock and roll weekend. <laughs> Burgers. Better with Pepsi. As we welcome you back to Courtside with Eric Musselman, Tuesday night, Razorbacks posted a win over number one ranked Auburn. You know about it. You watch the celebration. Coach, I don't know if, if a college basketball player or college basketball coach or even a fan could have a more enjoyable night than the ones you guys had on Tuesday. No, it was awesome. I mean, it was great for our student. I mean, our student section was great. It was great for everybody that came into the building and, and people that watched it on TV, both uh, – within the state and then national. I mean, it was a great, great environment to watch a basketball game. I know you are always recruiting. And when you have a moment like that, there's, there's great value in that, isn't there? No, there's no question. I mean, all the recruits across the country got to see a building that, that's second to none, uh, full of enthusiasm. And, and uh, our, you know, both teams played so well in that Auburn game that it was, it was cosmetically pleasing to watch it as a spectator as well. Now, we also found out this week, as we've discussed, that life on the road in the SEC can be difficult. And, and that toughness, you talked about it. You may not always win, but if you don't have that toughness on the road, you don't seem to have a chance. Yeah, and I thought against Alabama, we're down 13, and we, we had toughness, we had resiliency, and we gave ourselves a chance to win. A lot of times when you play against a good team, you want to put yourself in a position at the end of the game where you have a chance to possibly win the game. And I thought that's what we did on Saturday. 
Jalen Williams certainly gave you a chance in that ball game against Alabama. Played great against Auburn. Another double double for him. He, he's becoming so dominant out there. No, he really is. I mean, he, he's a, a passer. He's a post up player. He can make threes. He's an excellent defensive rebounder. I thought his defensive interior against dribble drives of their of Alabama's guards was phenomenal as well. You did a good job defensively. When you talk about Shackelford and Quinterly, guys who score a lot of points. You really shut them down. We did. I thought, you know, I thought from a game plan of, of having Jalen sit in that lane and try to discourage a lot of that really, really helped us. Um, you know, unfortunately, again, we just shot so poorly in that first half, especially. Stay with us. More to come on Courtside with Eric Musselman. Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Mercy, official hospital of the Arkansas Razorbacks. By Downstream Resort. Enjoy the ultimate entertainment getaway as you live every moment at Downstream Resort. By Stevens. Capitalize on independence. Cox, proud sponsor of Razorback Athletics. Visit Cox.com for exclusive offers. Remember that mammogram you postponed? The colonoscopy? Your yearly physical? Now's the time to get it done. Mercy is ready with COVID-19 safety precautions in place at all hospitals and clinics. So let's take care of that achy hip, the follow-up with your specialist. Plan for your safe visit at mercy.net slash your safety. Go to mercy.net slash your safety. At Mercy, your life is our life's work. Protect your connected devices with advanced security included with Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi. If you like Arkansas basketball, then you love to win. Downstream Resort is the place for winners. We are the premier resort destination for all Arkansas fans. Here, you'll have a luxurious stay in one of our state-of-the-art rooms or suites. You'll taste exquisite food from one of our six restaurants, including the world-famous Red Oak Steakhouse. And you'll relax in the pool or rejuvenate in our full-service spa. Downstream Resort is your premier resort destination and is now closer than ever with the completion of I-49. So, what are you waiting for? This segment of Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Fold Vision the official eye care provider of the Arkansas Razorbacks. It's been a heck of a week for the Razorbacks and their fans, but it is back to the grind today and back out on the road this weekend as we greet you from Coleman Coliseum in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. The Hogs are the hottest team in the league. Nine straight wins, including that thrilling overtime victory over top-ranked Auburn on Tuesday night. And they'll face an Alabama team today that is 15 and 9 overall. They are 5 and 6 in the league. It's a big opportunity for the Razorbacks to get a win. Alabama Chuck has beat three of the four teams that played in last year's Final Four. Gonzaga, Baylor, and Houston have lost to this Alabama Crimson Tide team this season. So we know what Alabama's capable of doing. Don Daly crosses the ball in the air. The Razorbacks win the opening tip. Williams out high, hands it to No Day, drives the right side of the lane, cut off. Beats Williams inside. Jalen to the basket, lays it in with a left hand. Shackelford crosses him over, gets in the lane, kicks it left side. Open three pointer from Gurley's no good. Williams gets the backside rebound. Note drives on the other end, beats Williams out at the right elbow. Jalen knocks down the jumper and he's feeling it to begin the ball game. Five to nothing. Gurley on the other end, penetrates, lost it, got it back. They'll feed it right side to Ellis, and Keon Ellis knocks down the three. Note in the front court gets a screen from Wade to the basket, dumps it to Tony for an easy layup. Back to Ellis, foul line. He'll work to Shackelford in the corner, and he's bumped over there. 
Arkansas commits the foul. That's Note, and that's his second. Amma drops it into Gurley. Back to Shackelford in the corner, and he drains a three. Drops it into Jalen Williams at the high post. Rojas comes out with him. Hands it off to Devo. Left baseline, or left side of the key, I'm sorry. Pulls up from about 10 feet. Devo makes the jumper. Hawks within three. 13-13 to play in the half. Tony, baseline drive, short runner, no. Roaz with a rebound. Outlet pass knocked away by Abude. Stanley threw it off a Bama player. Razorbacks down five. Devo, right wing, three on the way. Missed badly. Abude with a rebound, though. Stanley kicks it out to Likes. No look underneath Devo. He'll feed Abude in the corner, and the three-pointer's good. Winterly out high, gets a screen from Rojas. Left side, Holt just inserted, and he drains a three. Hogs have not taken advantage the way they'd like. They've not scored in two and a half minutes. Right baseline, Abude, 12-footer from the right side is good. 24-16, their biggest lead of the half. Baseline drive, Abude, turnaround wow. jumper is good from 10. Abude's got nine. He's keeping the Hogs in it. 24 to 18, 9 20 to go. Davison gets a hard screen from Bediaco, drives the key underneath Bediaco for the slam. Bama's back up by eight, 26 to 18. Likes behind the back, crosses Shackelford over, but missed the shot. Shackelford sprayed that ankle. Baseline Williams. Jalen fights to get in the lane. Little jump hook is good. Williams with a basket. He's got seven, 15 to shoot. Tony dribbles right side, back out front to Williams. Left side, Devo. He'll drive, blocked from behind. Ellis blocked it. Davison out of there with it. He's going to go all the way to the other end, and they wave it off on a charge. Hogs still down 28 to 20. Got to go to work. Out front, Devo, four to shoot, three to shoot. Got to hurry, Devo in the lane. Turn around from the foul line's good. 5.30 to play. Likes right side all the way to the rim. Chris Likes got it to fall. Ellis drives and lobs to Bediaco. 33-27, Devo drives on the other end. Feeds Kamani and he lays it in. Shackelford, top of the circle, gets a screen. Dribbles to the left elbow. Floats it with a right hand from the foul line. No good. Bediaco keeps it alive. Arkansas comes out of there with it though. Alabama commits a foul and I think somebody just got teed up. All the East got yeah. a tackle. They cool. just teed up Tony. Williams will inbound it in the backcourt. Now they're going to have Betty Ako defend the inbounds. Note comes in. JD comes in, heaves it from midcourt, missed the shot. And it is the Crimson Tide who will take a 37 to 32 lead into the halftime locker room. JD Davison leads the break, feeds Gurley, layup good. Note crosses Ellis over, drives left side of the lane, gets to the rim. What a reverse layup. Quinterly gets a screen from Betty Ako. Cross court, Miles for three, and it's good. It's Williams at the elbow. Jalen in the corner. Amude, Stanley open, and he knocks down the three. 14 for Amude. Hogs only shooting 28% today. 22% the second half. Williams to the rim, though, and Jalen lays it in. Note flashes for the steal, and JD will lay it up on the other end. 5.05 to play, 12 to shoot. Williams right side, three-pointer good. Jalen Williams has 22 and the Hogs are within four. Foul line, left side, Darius Miles short on a three, Amude with a rebound. Eighth board for Stanley. Away to Note, here comes JD, four and a half to play. Right side, step back, three-pointer good. Bama by two with the ball, Quinterly. Right elbow, makes a move on like, spins in the lane, stripped from behind by Note. Kicks out, no taper, three, and it's good. Hawks have the lead. Right side, in the key, Gurley got away with a travel. Turnaround's good from eight feet over Williams. No take, eight seconds, seven seconds. Right side, wild three, no good, out of bounds off Arkansas. Quinterly's front end, no good, off the front of the rim. Devo with a rebound, two seconds, one second from midcourt, no good. Bama wins, wow. You know, proud of our our effort tonight it is, you know, we just came up with a loss. Courtside with Eric Musselman is brought to you by Ford and the Ford F-150, the official truck of the Arkansas Razorbacks. Built Ford tough. Farm Bureau Insurance, local agents and adjusters, great rates, friendly service. 
by Taco Bell. All your favorites from breakfast to late night. Taco Bell, proud sponsor of the Arkansas Razorbacks. And by Mountain Dew. Do the do. Get a taco a day for 30 days for $10 with the new Taco Lovers Pass, only on the app. Some traditions just keep getting better and better. Ford F-Series, the official truck of the NFL and America's best-selling trucks now for the 45th year in a row. Now, get 0.9% APR financing, plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150. See your local Ford dealer today. Can a company help you live a better life? We're talking about the one in your neighborhood, with almost 2 million people helping you live a little better every day. We see your hopes and dreams. It's why we show up day after day to keep you healthy to help you put a better meal on the table. So, can a company help you live a better life? We're working on it every day. This one's for every sports fan who just spent the entire game explaining to someone the entire game. You've compromised enough. Pepsi Zero Sugar. Burgers, better with Pepsi. <sighs> well, now the Razorbacks prepare for another road trip. They go to Missouri first, then they'll be at home later in the week. Before we talk about Mizzou, though, I wonder as a coach this time of year, you're in the stretch drive, your team's obviously in great condition. How do you handle practices right now as opposed to maybe early in the year? Uh, we tail back just a little bit, but not too much. I mean, mm -hmm. we want to keep our legs. We want to be uh, fresh mentally and physically, but also – you know, there's a rhythm to how you do things. And I think sometimes teams that back off too much, those guys lose their edge and we don't want to do that. I thought last year we were as fresh as anybody and we pretty much kept our practice schedule very similar, maybe cut back, you know, 10 to 12 minutes a day in practice. But, but other than that, Chuck, we're kind of getting after it. Mizzou on Tuesday, a team that you beat in Fayetteville but you also know probably you're going to get their best shot Tuesday night. Oh, there's no question. Missouri will come ready to play. There's no doubt they're at home. We, you know, we, we, we need to win that game. Um, so both teams will play desperate, I would assume. Well, we are at the time of the season where it seems like every game, if the two teams have a chance to play in the postseason, it, it's a desperate game every time out. Yeah, there's no question. I mean, it's kind of a Super Bowl every night out. So we've got to uh, come, get ready to play, have good preparation, getting ready for Missouri. All right, Coach, thanks so much. Thank you, Chuck. Razorbacks and Mizzou on Tuesday night, and we're going to be back here next week. Hope you will be too. For more Courtside with Eric Musselman. <laughs> This has been a presentation from Learfield.